Assalamu alaikum everyone. Today we are going to validate uh, the UAT uh, that um, I mean uh, yesterday, I mean the last time we saw like how we migrate our code from uh, QA to UAT. So we find a lot of bug. Uh, so we are going to try to solve a few of them. So now, yeah, you know, like um, as a tester, after as soon as the code is available in the any environment, or right now as we see, it does um, it does migrate from QA to the UAT. So we perform the smoke test. So during the smoke test, we found a lot of bug. So we create a, um, we log the bug in Jira. So let me show you the Jira board. So as you see, we have a lot of bug. So how, how to create a bug? Um, so we have a test rail, right? So uh, when we are doing the smoke test, uh, whatever scenario we are uh, execute. And if it is, um, if it is uh, fail, so we can, um, yeah, like for example, this is pass. So if I click here, and if I say fail and uh, status is fail, then uh, you see the defect section. I am, um, we can uh, first we can attach the screen capture here and click on add defect. So it will, um, it will come back to the Jira and we can create a bug and add the uh, link to the, the issue. So that is happening. So we already created a lot of bug. So today we will take a uh, few of them uh, and try to uh, assign to the developer and we will retest that. Okay, so let's uh, let's see what, uh, what happened to this bug. So when we create a bug, first the description, right? Like what environment? So we can say this bug we, uh, we found in the UAT environment and this happening in the login, login screen, and the details, little description of the bug. So the shop link should not be visible on login screen. So looks like this shop link we have is uh, visible in the login screen. So now, uh, then we provide the step to reproduce. We provide the test data. In test data, I just provide the URL. Uh, we can provide the username, password um, as well. Uh, so then the step, like how I can go to that, uh, you know, navigate to that, um, to that bug. So I say navigate to the login page. Then expectation is shop link should not be visible on login screen. And actually shop link is visible on login screen. So this is the screen capture. So that means this is the login screen and this shop. So this shop page will be visible only for a registered user. So now, since we are in the UAT, let's verify if this, uh, this uh, shop is, um, the shop link is available in the QA environment. So this is our QA environment. So as you see, we don't see the shop link here. We see register and login, which is exactly fine. So that means when we uh, push the code from QA to UAT, maybe, um, you know, like different branch was pushed to the UAT, but as a tester, we don't care. We want to see if our um, user story is matching with the, um, mess, um, you know, mess hundred percent mess with the, uh, the in in the in UAT environment. So this is the bug, and we log the bug. So now let me go back to the bug. Uh, where is the other screen? So this is the bug I was talking about. So this is the to-do history and I can move. Uh, let me see if it is assigned already or not. 
So it's unassigned, so I can assign to myself because I'm going to working on it. And since I'm going to start work on it, so I can move this bar here and in progress. So that means I am going to work on this bug and let me see and and one more thing right uh, so since this is the UHT and um, and we don't have this bug this uh, this um, this problem in uh, in uh, in QA so that means, and also the all the code supposed to be migrate in from Quick UAT to UAT. So that means it is problem from the um, the release team or from the DevOps. So you know we will have a lots of um, uh, the branches, right? So that means uh, the uh, the uh, the release to UAT different branch. So that is the environmental issue, right? So I assume this is um, um, this happening uh, to the environmental issue and I am acting as a DevOps. So what I'm going to do, I will uh, find out the correct branch and, uh, and to see if resolve that issue. Or if I'm a developer, I will uh, check my code as well. Okay, so let, let me go to the UAT environment. So right now I'm working. So now let me uh, let me do that fix now. So the shop base. So shop base. Um, big user. Save. So I have done my my task i mean i have the uh, you know uh, mars my code after i fix this bug and i push it to ready for testing so i will ask the tester can you please test this bug it has been resolved so now tester will go to the uat environment they will refresh or you know open new window and i see the shop is not there so that means it's fixed so that's how we identify or log the bug and report to the bug to the developer developer fix that bug then developer will um uh, de developer will assign to the bug to the tester and tester will complete the testing and uh, let me go to the zero boat again. So tester will take a screen capture that uh, or make a comments like QA testing is completed for this bug and it is working as expect it then i can say add screen cap as a as a reference so let me go back to the ut oops not this one where is it Let me go to the UAT and I'm going to do the screen capture. And let me go back to the ticket. Let me go screen capture and drag it to here. Okay, so as soon as I done this, what I am going to do, save, make X, and I can mark as a 
um, I can close close this ticket. Uh, let me see if we have a close section here. No, we don't have a close, so I can make it down. So that's the process. So now let me fix another bug. So it will be really quick. Uh, UT shop message should be displayed in not this one. Let's see, spelling, right? So let me pull this one. So it is a UAT bug logging a screen. A spelling for register is incorrect. So let me. Okay, I don't have a test steps here. So we're supposed to add the test steps. So it is, uh, uh, you know, test are responsible to the make sure they write the test steps. Uh, so what I can do, they copy the, the bug, I just make it down. No, just copy everything because they're the same page. Spelling, spelling this one, description. Oh, this here, I didn't save it, okay. So, a step to reproduce, again, test data. So this is the URL, navigate to the login page. A spelling for register link should be displayed correctly. A spelling for register is incorrect, attachment, Click on the attachment and you see, this is like really weird uh, uh, letter, right? This inquiry, so this is valid bug. So once again, I am going to move this bug in progress. So, so it is in, in progress and I am going to fix this bug right now. And I am working on it. Register. So I am done with this bug. So I will move this bug in ready for test and I will let the tester know, hey, uh, this bug has been uh, pushed to the UAT. Can you please start testing? So let me go back to the UAT and uh, refresh the is noise register. So let me take a screen capture as a QA. Well, the other window. Let me go back to the Jira board and I will make a comments. QA testing is for this bug and it is working as expected. Press screen capture as a reference. Show reference. So now I have to go drag and drop the screen capture. So it has been resolved, save. It has been saved now. I can, since this is done, right? So we should have another column um, for close. So we can close the track, uh, close the bug. So this is how we, um, as a tester, we create a bug assigned to the developer. The developer will fix the bug, will put it in the ready for testing. QA will uh, start testing. And if it is fixed, they will uh, document, make a document, take a screen capture or uh, rec you know, record, uh, uh, record 
and attach to the Jira ticket, make a comments and close the bug. So that is the process for creating bug or uh, you know closing uh, close the bug in any environment. So now if I go back and also you see we we, we log a lot of bug in UAT. So looks like it's most of them are environmental issue uh, because we don't have the similar bug in uh, in uh, in UAT. I mean in QA. So. Yeah, so that is what I need to share today. So I'll see you next time. Thank you.